Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Grapper 12. Grapper is a powerful 2D and 3D graphing software package. In this video, I will explain how to manipulate and edit graphs in Grapper. Specifically, I will cover how to clip plots, add labels, add a graph title, edit axes, and add text and other drawn objects. To begin with, we will create a simple line scatter plot by clicking the Graphs, Create, Basic, Line Plot command, choosing a data file, and clicking Open. This line plot shows data from 1998 through 2014. If we are only interested in the data collected on or after October 10th, 2006, we can clip the plot so data collected before that date are not displayed. To do so, click the plot to clip in the Object Manager. Click on the Clipping tab in the Property Manager. Highlight the existing value in the X minimum date slash time field and type 10 slash 10 slash 2006. Press Enter on the keyboard to make the change. You can see that the plot has been clipped to only show dates after October 10th, 2006, and the x-axis minimum has been updated as well. This plot currently does not have any labels. Labels are useful for clarifying things like what and where the data values are. To label this line plot, make sure the plot is selected in the Object Manager. In the Property Manager, click on the Labels tab. Check the box next to Display Labels, and a label is displayed at the location of each data point. Since there are many data points close together, there are many labels that are overlapping one another and the line plot. To shift the labels so they don't overlap the line plot, change the horizontal alignment to right. To decrease the frequency of the labels so fewer of them appear on the plot, in the Worksheet Rows section, change the step factor. Setting this to 3 shows every third label. Below the Worksheet Rows section, you can edit the font, format, and label line properties for the labels if desired. The clipping and label properties we just changed are properties of the plot. We can also edit properties of the graph, such as displaying a graph title. To add a title to the graph, select the graph in the Object Manager. In the Property Manager, click on the Title tab. Click the Editor button in the Title field. In the Text Editor, type the title into the box. We can format the text by highlighting the portion to change and then changing the property. For example, I will highlight all of the text to increase the size and bold it. Clicking OK closes the dialog and applies the changes to the graph. Notice that the title has a box around it by default. If you don't want to see this box, in the Box Line Properties section in the Property Manager, change the style to Invisible. Like plots and graphs, axes also have many editable properties. These include tick mark spacing and the number of major and minor tick marks, display of grid lines, and presence of an axis title. To edit any axis properties, we must first select the axis we wish to edit. To edit tick mark spacing, click on the Tick Marks tab in the Property Manager. In the Major Ticks section, highlight the existing value in the Spacing field and type in the new value. With this many major ticks, we may wish to turn off the minor ticks. We could do so by unchecking the box next to Show Ticks on Left in the Minor Ticks section. Alternatively, if we wanted to display fewer major ticks and more minor ticks, we could increase the major tick spacing back to 4, recheck the box next to Show Ticks on Left for the minor ticks, and increase the divisions of minor ticks. To add grid lines to an axis, click on the Grid Lines tab in the Property Manager. In the Major Lines section, check the box next to At Major Ticks. We can change the line properties in the Major Line Properties section. To add a title to an axis, click on the Axis tab in the Property Manager. 
In the title section, click on the editor button. In the text editor, type the title and format it as desired. Click OK to close the text editor and add the title to the axis. To finalize the graph, it may be necessary to manually draw in some text or other drawn objects. To do so, click Draw, Text. The cursor changes to a plus sign, indicating we're in drawing mode. Click where you want the text to appear. In the text editor, type in the text you want to display, format as desired, and click OK. Press Escape on the keyboard or click the Draw Select command to exit drawing mode. This concludes the video training for editing and manipulating graphs in Grapher. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.